to control the 48x zoom ultimate PTZ camera using the PC software. Here I have it connected to my NVR at IP address 101, and I have a front PTZ, which is actually just a four time zoom PTZ, and I want to do a comparison with this 48x zoom PTZ, which is on the left hand side. So on the right hand side, again, 4x zoom mini PTZ, on the left hand side, ultimate 48x zoom PTZ. And once again, I can control the zoom and both the camera using the controls in the software. So both of these cameras, I can control them. And then I can also control the wiper on the larger PTZ by choosing the more functions, going down to wiper, and then clicking this little off and on button. So this would mean it's on and it would keep using the wiper until I click this button again, and then the camera will no longer use the wiper. So here I have the 48X PTZ. And on the left-hand side, I have the 4X PTZ. So if I make them look in the same direction, I can zoom the 48x zoom all the way in and these townhouses are around 1300 feet or a quarter mile away over that even from the camera and then my 4x went back to its preset so I'm going to bring it back to the left and then I'm gonna zoom it all the way in, and that's as much zoom as I get. So if I zoom it back out, and then I zoom it back in, you can see that the 4X zoom, I can really only see that this car, which is roughly around 60 feet away from the camera, whereas my 48X zoom can see 1300 feet over, actually over 1300 feet away from the camera. And if I zoom it back out, You can see that this car that's 60 feet away, I can zoom all the way in on this car. Can I, I can literally see inside of the interior. And if there was a coffee stain on that interior, I could see that, in that coffee stain. And that's the power of this 48X zoom PTZ. All right, so I just wanna make sure that you understand that you can zoom the camera back out. And if you don't have a strong internet connection where the camera is or where you are watching it from, or you have a very slow computer, then you can right click the stream, go down to stream type and switch it to substream one. And it's a lower resolution stream. It will require less data or internet speed. And then it will also require less processing power by your computer. You can see the data stream here is only around a hundred or a thousand kilobits kilobytes. If I change it to mainstream, it's going to go all the way up to around 10,000 or 11,000 kilobits. And then if I double click it, I can bring it into full screen. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like comment and subscribe.